you cannot use you or your in a Facebook ad, right? Wrong. You absolutely can as long as you're not advertising in certain categories. Let me show you exactly where and when you can you where and when you cannot use them and how to fix it if you're advertising in those specific categories. All right, here we go. So there's a common belief you cannot use you and your in Facebook ads. That's wrong. Let me take you directly to Facebook's ad policy. So here you go. The, U, the URL is right up here in really small type at the top. In a minute, I'll show you another way to be able to get to that if you want to check that yourself. But the key here is, the, is to note this section down here in blue, which says we, it gives you the overview, the principle that they're trying to teach us. Okay. We don't allow advertisers to run ads that assert or imply the personal attributes of the viewer of an ad. In other words, they don't want you saying, hey, I know who you are and what your specific situations are, and I've got the solution for you. They do not allow you to do that, okay? Instead, we recommend that you focus your ad on the benefits of your products and services where possible. Okay, so this is really key. They're saying, we don't want you to call out that a person has these particular situations, these particular elements, this particular age, this particular financial status, whatever it is. I'll show you the list in just a second. What they want you to do is if you have a product that focuses on those things, they want you to be using ads that talk about the benefits of your particular program instead. All right, so let's do this. Let's look at that list. This is the list of what they call prohibited personal attributes. This is where they're paying extra special attention to your ads. If your ad falls in any of these categories, you then cannot use you or your in that ad, okay? And they're going to be extra picky as they look at it to make sure you're not implying that you understand that that person has that condition or is in that state. So race, ethnicity, color, national origin, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, family status, so divorced, single, disability, medical or genetic condition, physical or medical mental health, including a mental and medical condition, vulnerable financial status, voting status, membership in a trade union, criminal record, and you can't use their name. Okay. All right. So now if you are in any of those categories in your ads, then as I said, they're going to look at it more specifically and they're going to look at you and your, those are prohibited. And they're going to look at, am I implying somehow that I know this person is in this category? Now it is totally acceptable. And they tell us they want us to talk about what we offer and the benefits of your particular product or service to that particular group. Just, you can't say you're in that group. Okay, to continue, to make it very explicit, continuing down this, note, you can use the words you or your as long as your ad doesn't mention any prohibited personal attributes and complies with our other advertising standards. So this is literally taken directly from their ad policies. You can use the word you or your as long as you're not in these categories. So now, since I know that a lot of you are actually are advertising those categories and you're saying, well, I still can't use you or your, so how do I solve this? Let me show you again from their ad uh, categories, their prohibited personal attributes standards, what they say about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from their standards. Here's an example of an ad that says, 
And what I did is I highlighted the word you so that it'll get you both you and your showing up there. OK, so find out how I financial services can help people like you who have just turned 62. So what you just did is you said, I know how old you are. OK, you also just said, I know that you're a senior. Neither one of those things are appropriate or will get you accepted. Now, by the way, I have to say something here. The things I'm going to be talking about are Don's opinion about what Facebook is telling us. I'm not guaranteeing you that the solutions I'm going to offer you will get your ad accepted. What I'm doing is I'm trying to parse what they're saying and translate it into easier to understand ways of doing things. So I'm going to show you how I would run an ad in that category. That's not a guarantee that it's going to work for you. OK. All right. So find out how our financial services can help people like you who just turned 62. Learn more about how we can help you receive retirement benefits. So the problem here is this ad implies knowledge of the exact age of that person who sees the ad. So what's the alternative? Explain how your financial services are positioned to help potential customers, including seniors. So again, these are suggestions, no guarantee of acceptability. All right, so perhaps your ad says something like, financial services to help manage the unique requirements of senior living. Okay, again, I did not say in that, I know how old you are. I did not say you're 62. What I said was, we offer financial services that help manage the unique re requirements of senior living. I'm stating the benefits and the features of my program, not talking about you, I'm talking about me. That, by the way, is probably the biggest key out of this whole thing. Don't talk about them, talk about you, which I know goes directly against everything we teach in marketing. But when you're in these prohibited categories, that's the way you're able to run ads, is to focus on your offering, not on their needs. All right. Here's another example. Disability. Are you disabled? We can help. OK, that's not going to be accepted because this ad implies that the audience has a disability and it uses the word you. So you the alternative is they say use this as an opportunity to demonstrate your expertise in the field or the variety of specialty disability services you can provide. So let's say you provided free van transport services for the disabled. All right, there you go. There's your copy. We offer free van transport services for the disabled. You don't say, I know you're disabled. You don't say anything else. You're just simply saying, there's like a billboard saying, hey, if you're driving past this and you happen to be disabled, we have free van ser ser transport services for the disabled. All right, that's how this is working. Continuing along that thought. Here we go with cancer. So example text. Have you been diagnosed with cancer? I bet you can guess this is going to get rejected. Come to our clinic for treatment. The violating tr content is this ad contains a statement that assumes the audience has cancer and it uses the word you. Alternative ideas. Try providing information about the benefits of cancer treatments. So the way they worded this, what I did is I took a shot that may or may not work, but let's try it if you were to do this. So if I were doing this, I would write something like largest cancer clinical trial center in the Midwest. We get more people placed in clinical trials than any other hospital hospital in the tri-state area. OK, so you're again, you're talking about what you offer your specific services, not saying, hey, I know you got cancer. All right. One more. Depression. OK, if you are dealing with depression, call us for free therapy sessions. Again, it contains statements that assume the audience suffers from depression, which in America today, it probably is right about most of the time. And it uses the word you. So instead, provide information on your product or service and the unique benefits it provides. So here, what I did is I actually took there on this page where all these is displayed, there's a video which I suggest you watch in that video. They go through and they and they talk about sort of what I'm talking about here. And in one of them, they actually use these words. I just changed 
cancer to depression. So literally, I am quoting their video saying this is what you could say. The reason why I did this is because I know that depression is particularly tough to get an ad approved. So I literally am using their language. So here we go. We have over 20 years treating patients with depression. Finding, find out about our services here. Okay. Again, their language. I just changes, changed cancer to depression. Oh, sorry. An extra bonus. Let's talk about criminal record. Criminal record got holding you back. We can help you find a job. Okay. This ad implies the audience has a criminal record and it uses the word you. Instead, talk about your company's expertise in this field. Demonstrate the benefits of your service for potential customers. So here we go. Here's my shot at it. We specialize in placing people with criminal records that should say records in high paying jobs and careers and have an 80% job placement rate. Okay. So again, I'm talking about me, not talking about you. And I'm talking about the benefits of using our service versus not using our service. Okay. All right. So those are the specific, some of the specific examples that Facebook is providing. Now, let's just go a little bit deeper and summarize this. So if you are in a prohibited personal attribute category, that list of things at the very top where we had age and financial status and medical conditions and criminal record and voting status and all those kinds of things like that. If you are in any of those categories, and if you're not sure, go back and watch that portion of the video and see. If you're in any of those, you cannot imply that you know that the re reader is in that category. So even if you don't use you or your, you can't do something that says, hey, I know who you are, even though we oftentimes do. And we cannot use you or your in your ad. It's just prohibited. Instead, focus on what you provide and make generic statements of fact. We have the highest cancer, cancer trial tracement rate of any hospital in the tri-state area. So that's a generic statement of fact about your cancer placement record. And it focuses on what I provide. Okay. Now... Those of you who aren't in any of those categories are probably long gone. But just in case, if you're not in a prohibited personal attribute category, it's okay to use you and your. For example, you can say, are your Facebook ads not working? Are you coming to your conference name? Are you craving pizza right now? All of those are valid, probably acceptable, unless you got something else going on or Facebook's changed their rules or they're misinterpreting in a different way, all those are acceptable uses of the word you or your. The reason why I created this video in the first place is that I've been using you and your and Facebook ads for years and have never gotten banned for it. And I can't quite figure out why I keep hearing people say you can't use them. So I went into research to figure out when and where you can use it. That's this video is the result of that. All right. So now, I bet you if you're watching this, you're doing it because you've had an ad blocked. And many of you have just given up on that ad or given up on advertising on Facebook altogether because you got your ad blocked. Well, realize that there are ways to fix it. Basically, there's two ways. Number one, go reword your copy, put it, change your picture or change the words in your video. Realize they transcribe your video to make sure you're not making any illegal claims in their minds, you know, prohibited claims in their minds in that video. And so you can go change those things and resubmit and off you go. OK, you may get you may get blocked again. You may get accepted. That's the first line of defense. If that doesn't work. And by the way, even so, if you go to, to here to facebook.com slash business slash help slash support, there's several things there. And I've marked this one troubleshoot a rejected ad. This page that will happen when you click on that has a URL that's like got 62 numbers in it. And so I didn't put the direct link to it, but this will help you get there by going to this help slash support URL and go there. It'll show you if you have a rejected ad, what to do so you can solve this problem. 
All right? So please do not give up just because you got an ad blocked. One of the things that hap- that they tell you about it here, and, and you should know, here's the way. So I had a conversation with somebody in the Facebook ads policing department. I don't know what their actual ty- ty- title is. What she told me is the vast majority of blocks are automatically done by a computer. No human being ever sees them. The computer says, ah, it's this prohibited category. They use the word you, bam, it's blocked. And she said, the problem with that is that the computer is sometimes going to block ads that should not have gotten blocked. And then she said, if you've been blocked and you don't feel it's appropriate, you need to appeal. This link, this troubleshooter rejected ad shows you how to appeal. Okay, so basically, I don't want to take you through the details because Facebook changes these things like once a week. There's a spot on the page where you can say, I want to appeal this. And you click that and it goes off in between 24 and 72 hours. They'll have somebody look at it and say, no, nope, we continue to block your ad or no, sorry, we our computer made a mistake and your ad's back approved. OK, so it's absolutely vital that if you're getting blocked, you need to go to that troubleshooter rejected ad and do what it says there to try to fix it yourself first. And if and if you cannot see anything that you possibly did wrong, then click the appeal and appeal it because you can get ads back. I've gotten ads back and it's a great thing when you do. <laughs> All right. What's your experience with being blocked? What's your experience with you and your? Are you in one of these prohibited categories? If so, let me know in the comments. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm-hmm.